Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy of holidays, wishing you guys the very best um, for this year to come as well. Before we get into your reading, Virgo, I want to let you go. Let you go. <laughs> I want to let you know. I'm sorry, it's been a long day, you guys, and I have not slept. So <laughs> I want to let you guys know if you guys are interested in personal consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can find that now on our online store. Um, which you'll find the link to at the end of each video or underneath the description box um, that will take you to that store uh, to purchase whatever products we have on there or the products that we provide. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the videos that are coming out. We have the tarot series that just dropped officially. It will start on Sunday, so you guys definitely stay tuned for that. And also the January uh, yearly readings that we do every year is also coming, um, basically telling you guys how the planet alignments and uh, what major important planets are going to be in alignment for your signs, depending on um, your moon rising and Venus or sun sign, obviously. So let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2021 regarding their love life? Please give us the cards that represent their partner or person of interest, the actions that they're going to be taking and clarifying their actions, please. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, one more. Let's get to it. All right, your first card here is the Ten of Cups, Virgo. Ten of Cups speaks about emotional fulfillment. Uh, this is the desire or the want to create some type of commitment. And this is the energy that uh, the person or your partner uh, is currently vibrating to. So it is the desire to want to build something, uh, wanting to take it to the long haul, wanting to solidify some type of connection here. For those of you guys that are just getting to know someone, Ten of Cups does speak about true and genuine um, authentic intentions here. All right. First card here is the three of pentacles, and this is the energy that they're coming to the actions. Three of pentacles does speak about them coming back or reaching out to you, wanting to uh, put effort and energy towards this connection. I see them really being on, wanting to be on the same wavelength as you. Um, this could be, you know, if you guys have been challenged in the past, this is them realizing that and wanting to step up wanting to um really you know make this connection the deepening of this connection and the willingness to put effort and to be on the same page we also have here the ace of swords so there is definitely clear communication clear communication about their intentions about where we're going with this connection where we're headed what is it that i want what is it that i expect what is it that you want what is it that you expect so it's the reciprocation of the uh energies it is uh, basically them willingly putting effort um to attain you to have you to maintain this connection very beautiful energy and i'm going to be honest virgo um this is the best reading i've seen so far um because it's definitely talking about the deepening of a connection now, the next card here is the judgment card. So um, making the decision, I feel like if you have, in fact, been challenged in this connection or in this partnership, um, it's overcoming those obstacles. It's being able to be more emotionally mature, uh, to take self-responsibility and to be willing to put the egos aside and to be on the same page and to talk about the future. This is you creating a future, talking about the future, talking about where we're taking this relationship, this partnership. Um, very, very beautiful type of energy here. I do want to mention, though, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, I do see someone returning from the past. It could be water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Earth energy. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I also do see air here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I do see someone coming back around and trying to open communication with you. And this could come as unexpected to you. Keep in mind, we are going to be going through Venus retrograde. 
So it is bringing a lot of situations, past relationships back into our lives so that we can, um, so that we can acknowledge, you know, was there an ending? Was there a, um, almost like, a a, a releasing of that type of energy. And if there were things that were left unsaid or undone with people from the past, they may be returning back around, uh, trying to open communication, wanting to see if you're still open to the idea or possibility of revisiting that type of connection. Um, what spirit is telling you here is if you are dealing with someone from your past returning, um, keep yourself focused. Uh, keep yourself focused, especially if you are currently dealing with someone else, because I feel like you don't want to jeopardize the connection that you've built or that you have um, over something that may be temporary. Again, Venus retrograde. OK, now let me pull out an Oracle card for you guys. Oh, wow. This one flipped over. I can see I can still see you standing there. So yeah, I feel very heavily for a lot of you guys, an ex or someone from your past is coming back around. Um, and here's the thing, with the Ten of Cups, if it was a true and authentic, genuine connection, there was love on both sides, but life happened and you guys were sort of pulled away from each other. I feel like this revisiting of Venus retrograde is definitely going to give you guys the opportunity to revisit that and to try to figure out if you guys i apologize you guys trying to figure out if you guys are on the same page or willing to revisit that and again n n uh, venus retrograde is not necessarily a bad thing sometimes it will reconnect uh partners that are meant to be uh soulmates or that you were a soulmate and there was some type of lesson that needed to happen um, but we'll be bringing you guys back around. So there are reconnections here for some of you guys as well. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.